Hello, my name is Rita Verde, and I serve as the board president of the Arts Consortium. And I want to welcome you to our October membership meeting. We have an awesome presenter, Shirley Keller, a fantastic artist. Uh, she is also our artist of the year, and I want to send a big shout out and congratulations to her. So please stay tuned. We will also have our executive director, Ampelio Mejia, who will be giving you an update on all of the events and happenings of the Arts Consortium. I'd like to also ask that you continue your membership uh, with the Arts Consortium. It's the easiest way to support us. If you aren't a member, I encourage you to become a member. I thank you so much for your time, your attention, and I look forward to seeing you in person soon. Thank you. I'm Shirley Keller. Uh, this is my studio. Spirit Hill Meditation Garden and Art Studio. I'd like to welcome you to the October Art Consortium meeting. Mm -hmm. I volunteered taking care of kids, teaching children how to swim at the Crippled Children's Society. I went to work camps for the Quakers. I, I didn't do art at all. It wasn't until I was in my late 40s, I think, I was asked to teach an art class. So I went to an artist friend. He asked me to describe a picture in my head. And he started squeezing out color and handed me a brush and said, now I want you to paint what you just told me. That's planted a seed in my brain. And it took me, I don't know when it was, but one day I started looking at the sky and I saw that the sky really is filled with different colors. And I began to realize, oh, I think what Lee was trying to teach us was that art is a way of seeing. He began to see. I ended up living alone. I started writing, um, journaling every morning. I mean, my life had totally turned upside down, and the writing led me to writing stories about my childhood, and I was kind of a lucky person. I, I was raised in a very interracial, multicultural, multi-religious kind of family that as the years went on, more and more people from different parts of the world would marry into our family, and... I started writing the stories about them. I only published a book in 2019. Um, and since then, I've been published in a compilation of short stories. Uh, and I'm now writing a novel. So I am now an ar artist and author. Then... I had the desire to paint, but I really didn't think the world needed a, more paintings. And I discovered we had a bunch of junk around, um, tools, shovels, uh, uh, hose, garden hose. Um, uh, then somebody, I found a hubcap someplace. I discovered I adore painting on hubcaps. In Oaxaca, Mexico, there are these villages that carve wood. The men carve wood, the women paint them, and the painting is very intricate. Well, I lucked out and went down there, and this family allowed me to come and paint with the wife, Sylvia Fuentes. Their designs all tell the story of the Mayan culture or the Aztec culture. Oaxaca is only one place that does that kind of small painting. The Aborigines in Australia paint in dots and they do designs and theirs also tell stories. My art has changed right now. I'm gonna mix words with art. So that's what I've been doing since 2020 started. Then COVID hit. So now COVID is part of some of the art here. Can't help it. Uh, then Black Lives Matter happened. And I, it's on. There was a time when I read Emerson's essays. 
all of a sudden the quotes that have meant something to me in my whole life are on a hubcap now. I start with a color, maybe it's the background of the hubcap, then I pick the next color and I go one step at a time, one dot at a time. With a toothpick, and this is what I paint with, I start with brushes, but I end up with painting these more toothpicks more than anything. There's a core group of people, Nikki Crane, Leah Lani, um, uh, Nancy Brunson. Anyway, um, oh, Peter Soddy, our, he's never in the front, but he's the one that does all the graphics stuff for us. Um, anyway, all this group of people, month after month, Artists would just show up, call, and we would put them on uh, the internet in our blog and make them look pretty, and people would come to the art center or to wherever their studios were. I always had my studio open, and um, we would sell art, and we've done it all these years. Uh, March, the first Saturday in March was the last time we actually were open call me and we can meet for coffee, sick, socially distance with masks, and um, or talk on the telephone and I can tell them what I do. And uh, just in Google, type 1ST Saturday, TR, Three Rivers, and you'll find it. This has been a time of extreme production. I'm writing, I'm doing art, I show up here every single day. Um, so it has been a kind of a blessing not to have any place to go. I've been invited to lecture at Pacific University College uh, in Fresno, but I'm gonna do it from here because of Zoom. Uh, the professor, Rod, Jansen read my book and he's teaching an ethnic relations class and he wanted me to come and tell stories about my family. And any young person, I would tell him, go to school. It isn't always the path, but I just keep finding myself with these wonderful teachers who did go get education and learned these tools and are now sharing them with me. So I would tell young people to take that path. My studio is open if people wear masks, if uh, they keep aware of social distancing. I would love to have people here, but appointments. My phone number, I'm, I'll tell it to you now, 559-561-3463. You can call and we can make a date. Um, my art is for sale and I have a blog. Uh, it's S. Blair Creative Play. I just put in all the word art that I've been doing in one section and I'll be adding art that I've been doing does not have words <laughs> uh, in another section of the blog. So people can see my, me, my art that way. Awesome. And I love the art consortium. Just support it. Hey everybody, welcome to my office in the back of the arts consortium. I'm really happy to have you here. It's been a while. I'm sorry for my absence. Well, a couple months ago we felt a little bit of a delay because we thought we were opening up. And so we started preparing to open up but then nothing happened. So we had to regroup and figure out what we were doing. And so it's, it's taken a while, but we're here. I'd like to thank Brent Hudspeth. He's an outgoing board member and he helps out quite a bit. So thank you very much for your services. Everybody look out for him and think of him for your projects. Congratulations once again, Shirley Keller. Uh, I took the interview before I told her that she was artist of the year. So she had no idea, and I didn't quite capture her reaction. But thank you, Shirley, for everything that you do. Your work in Three Rivers to do the first Saturday, and then your international work that you do, your 
meditation studio and then, and then your personal work which is gorgeous so thank you so much for everything you do and congratulations on being the arts consortiums artist of the year for the year 2020 and i sure do wish that we were able to celebrate you properly we are changing the way that watermark magazine works for this year it's a special edition and we're actually uh, we're, we're reserving pages from the magazine at $50 each for artists who would like to share three high-quality images of their newest, best work with prices, titles, something to sell. There's a two-page limit for artists. Then, on top of that, we have our virtual gallery. The only way to register for that virtual gallery right now is through registering for these magazine pages. So when you register for a magazine page, not only will you get your three images per page, up to two pages, but you will also have seven different images in a gallery uh, online. All of these things are what we're doing with the intent to post your contact information, to share your, your social media contacts so that anybody interested can come to you directly. We don't want any commission. We don't want anything like that. We're just looking to offset the costs with the registration fee. So when you register for a page in our special edition Watermark magazine, there's a two-page limit, you will automatically be entered into this, this virtual gallery. And so you will receive a link to share to anybody that you want. And we will share that link as far and wide as we can. And when anybody clicks on that link, they will arrive at a page that looks like this. So right now it says nobody's here yet. Share this room to get together. And so that's what we're going to do when this is completely full. We're going to share the link and then we'll actually be able to see each other right here. Right now you can't see anybody because no one else is in. But we're going to go ahead and enter this room anyway. And these are the choices that you get. So, so what, they, what you pick here is what people are going to see. And you can hear a little bit of the music that's going on, but we'll get to that later. So this avatar is, is what, what you get to choose, what other people get to see. So there's a bunch of different stuff. Right now they've uploaded their Halloween ones, which is kind of fun. We'll see if they're still up later on. But we're going to go with this robot guy. We're going to go with this little robot guy. So we're going to accept. Then it's going to ask you to choose the device. If you have a virtual reality headset, then you probably want to do this one because that would be awesome. Otherwise, you're going to just go ahead and enter on this screen like I am right now. This just means the audio setup. It, look, you, it, it's, it's listening to you talk. It's making sure that your speakers work. And this just makes sure that when you click, it's actually working. So that you're testing the speed of your clicks. When you don't hear that bell ring, that means that your clicking is very slow. Uh, this is just for anybody who might have some kind of microphone attached to it or anything like that. I don't really happen to have that. You can mute yourself before you go in, or you can enter now. So this is on the developer end. So you'll you'll you probably won't see this, but you're going to navigate through your keyboard, actually. So if you look at your keyboard right now, you see that QWERTY, that Q-W-E-R-T-Y, the way that that word lines up, it's going to be our reference point, that Q. That Q is going to be our reference point. So that's actually going to move left. You see, I just hit Q, and it turned us to the left. I'm going to hit, and then I'm going to skip the W, and then I'm going to go to E. And then I'm going to go to the right. So Q is to the left, D is to the right. W, interestingly enough, actually moves us forward so we can go into the gallery. Now, if I move too much forward, I can hit S. So I'm moving S now, and I'm backing up a little bit. The way you navigate is that, see, I have this mouse right here, and I can... I can hover over anything that I want to. However, if I want to move, I have to click 
here and then drag in the direction that I want to turn. So if I want to turn to the right, I have to drag to the right. Otherwise, I have to click and drag my mouse to the left. If I drag my mouse to the left, then the whole uh, perspective shifts. Otherwise, again, drag into the right, drag into the left, drag into the right, drag into the left. As you can see, you got an art piece right here. That's kind of cool. So if you want to turn left or right, you can hit the Q or the E, but it's a program distance that it's going to jump. So it's like a jump. So I'm just going to jump with the Q and the E. I'm jumping with it. You see, you see how it goes uh, kind of quickly and then stops? That's, that's a jump. And so if I want to turn smoothly, I actually have to drag and then, and then move in that direction. Click and drag, click and drag, and then you can move smoothly. We're also going to have some music. So this is Pachango. This is Chango from Pachango. Singing some cool stuff for us right here. And as you notice, the closer I get, the louder it sounds. So I can hear him and I can hear his music. Now, if I come back here, I can't really hear him so much. That's a little bit quieter. But if I come in here and say there's another artist playing, then I can hear this music comfortably without being totally, totally outdone by the music playing halfway through the gallery. So that's kind of cool. So if you guys are interested, and participating in this virtual gallery that's going to be associated with the uh, with the watermark pages, then come on in and and join up. Email us your sample three images, titles, prices of each of them. Email them to pam at artsconsortium.org, and we'll get them to our jury. And then we'll let you know either way whether you are accepted or not. And then we'll, we'll, yeah, we'll have a reception. And like I said, you'll be actually be able to see some of the people here. Now, when we have our group shows, we'll actually be able to go into a whole separate world so that each artist could have their own page. Now you'll still have to accept your avatar. So, and again, we're not going to get VR. So, we're going to go straight in, same thing, checking, and we're going to enter now. Now, we have a gallery of different artists, but this is a whole different thing, and it came from that same place we were at. Oh, look at that. Speaking of Brent Hutzke, that's one of his paintings. And we got so much beautiful work. So many beautiful pieces that we've got going on. Look at these. So this is just a sample. Just a sample of what it might look like. And then, if you get tired of it, you can come on back to our home page. You still have to accept your avatar, but every time we get faster because it's the same questions. So there we go. We're back. And if there were 20 other artists showing their work in here, each one of those artists would have their own room. Like that, room one. And so each one of these, instead of this being an image, it would be a room link. And so somebody would click on that, and would click on that, and we would have them labeled for your, for yourself or whoever else is showing the work. And so uh, we just wanna, we're, we're really excited about this. This is kind of a way to get together uh, while we can't get together. So I'm very excited about it. I hope you guys are excited about it. Think about getting watermark pages because that's the only way to register for this virtual gallery at the moment. If this takes off, then maybe we'll do more in the future. But if we do not have enough of a reaction, then it's, there's just no point and we'll try something else to better serve you guys. And if you have any suggestions, if you have any ideas, if you have any comments, please put them down below so that we know what you're thinking and that we know how to 
better serve you. The California Arts Council has sent us the option to opt in or opt out of a grant or a re-granting opportunity. So they're giving us $12,000 to re-grant into our community. And this is specific for organizations who have served or look to serve the BIPOC community, which stands for Black, Indigenous, or People of Color. So uh, Tulare County is comprised of 65% Hispanic. So if you get a good survey of people at your events, then you would qualify under that condition. However, any organization who has already received CARES funding does not qualify. Individuals, unfortunately, do not qualify for this. This is only for organizations. The reason that the California Arts Council is, is providing this grant specifically is because they want to bring awareness of this term BIPOC, which is, again, Black, Indigenous, and People of Color, because it moves away from the more passive term, people of color, uh, that which, which used to encompass everybody, but now it's this, this BIPOC term is calling for some kind of leadership and, and, and more for, for activation so that, so that we have more voices from our community and, and, and that we can be more inclusive. Funds will be awarded no later than December 31st, but they have to be spent by January 31st. The conditions are that your organization has to engage or represent the local BIPOC community that features art forms created by members of the local art BIPOC community or that highlights the stories and experiences of the BIPOC community. So if your organization does any of that, then you're more than welcome to apply for this grant. Our review panel will dedicate themselves to being fair and and objective as far as what this investment is going to mean for this local population. And for the My Voice Media Center, we've been having a really great time with the stress relief activity that we learned from our friend Michael, and we hope that you'll enjoy this short presentation. Hi, my name is Olivia and I work here at the My Voice Media Center. We are going to be doing a project on stress relief. Uh, it was introduced to us by a friend of ours named Michael. And what it is, is using stuff that you would usually probably throw away. A fly swatter, a dog ball, some old rags tied with a rubber band, some bubble wrap. And what we do is we dip these materials into different colors of paint and then we throw it at our canvas. And as we're throwing it, we're releasing the stress and the anger, any kind of emotions you want to just let out, we do. By the end of the session, you have an amazing piece of art. Last year, we installed artwork at the Government Plaza building on South Mooney, and that show was actually extended because of the lockdown. And so, so those artworks are still up. If you go there, though, you'll still be able to see them. And they're actually moving forward on another show at the Board of Supervisors Chambers. So go ahead and submit any artwork that you want considered for this show at ampelio at artsconsortium.org. And in particular, we'd like to feature work by youth. So anybody high school or younger is welcome to submit artwork so that they may be considered to have it displayed at the Board of Supervisors Chambers. Please make sure that you write the title of the piece, the price of the piece, your contact information, and 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 we'll we'll see we'll see what you got. I'm very excited about that. Thank you once again for joining us for our October membership meeting. If you have any questions, please call us at 559-802-3266 so that we can answer any of them. 
uh, or maybe register for any of the activities we have going on. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and thank you very much.